y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY, and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers, and welcome to any new viewers. So if you follow me on social media, and which, sorry, the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. It's going to be a super fun and easy little project. It won't take long to do, and I'm really excited to show it to y'all, so let's get to it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you everything needed. Alright y'all, so the first thing you're going to need is these little cauldrons. I got them last year for St. Patrick's Day. I think they'll work perfectly for a Halloween themed decor piece. So you'll need those. And then you'll need either a little skeleton, which this is a skeleton garland you can get from Dollar Tree. Or little skeleton pieces, whichever one you can find. You're going to need some food coloring. I'm going to be using green food coloring. You're going to need cotton balls and some glue. Now, because this is a short little project, I did not show you all the pictures for it, but or the items for it, but we're going to do a little something else also. So, they have these at Dollar Tree, and they come in black, orange, and purple. So, I have those that I snatched up because I wanted to make something with them. And the other thing that we have is I got this from Michael's last year after Halloween. Let me find what I'm going to be using. And you can make your own if you can't find something like this. Let me find it. It's in here somewhere. There it is. It's little labels. That we're going to be putting on the bottles. It's a really simple project. That's a little bonus project. So let's get to it and we'll start on the project. So the first thing we'll be doing is taking the skeleton apart and apparently I just pulled on it apart. It's that simple. If I can get them all apart. Now this part we're going to have to cut, which is what I planned on doing in the first place. So, I forgot to mention you'll need a utility knife. So, I'm just cutting the little pieces off that went in it to make it stick. Because I want it to look right. So, Let me see how to do this. And be careful, you really don't want to cut your finger. So please be careful with this. Alright. So you're just cutting the pieces to make it work. Alright. So, and there is my skeleton deconstruction, for lack of a better word. So that's step one. Now we're going to move on to the rest. Alright y'all, so I'm not really 100% sure on what I'm doing. I'm going to try something and see how it works. And then we'll go from there. So what I want to do is I want to take the cotton ball and they're going to go into the cauldron and it's going to be like a potion that you know you'd see on Halloween. So I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do this so we're going to just trial and error. So I'm going to take it I'm going to put some green food coloring in a container. This is literally the bottom of a cup cut out so I can reach in there and I'm just going to Try to see what I can do. I might have went a little too much on it. Like I said, trial and error. I'm painting my fingers green and I'm fine with that.
I was thinking about leaving some of it white for like the foam and we'll just go with that so we're gonna do a couple that way and see how it works y'all I've never done this before so this is literally trial and error So I'm good with that. I mean, you're just literally trying to make it look frothy. And again, ignore my green hands. Hold on and it'll go on. All right, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. So what I'm gonna do and hope this works because I have no clues. I'm just gonna glue the pieces together. I don't know. This is just something I'm trying for the first time. Either it works or it doesn't. So, I don't know I'm pretty okay with it it's not exactly what I was going for but you know it looks weird so <laughs> and then this part is literally I am taking the skeleton pieces I took apart and I'm just gluing them in there to like give it a uh, just a feel like it's got I really wouldn't know what you call it really. Let me actually do one more thing, hold on. I just wanna, you know, glue some pieces in here. Make it, I don't know, to me it makes it feel scarier. <laughs> And there's one, and we're gonna do the same with this other one. You know, it, oops, it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't think it's ever gonna be perfect, but you know. Like I said, just some pieces. Hmm. Kind of like a human stew. <laughs> I only pushed it in a little far. And there you go. Literally, that is it for this project. I thought it'd be really cool. Let me do 
something real quick. Try to get this out a little bit too. I just thought it'd be really cool to make something a little different. So that's that. Now I'm going to show y'all the other project. And it's really simple, easy to do. It won't take long to make it. And then we'll be done. So give me a second. All right, this is something really simple and easy to do. So I got three bottles, right? Purple, black, and orange. And then I have several of these to choose from. And I think I'm going to pick Certified Organic Butter Wings, Lover's Tears Magic Love Potion, and then the Viper Venom 100% Lethal No Additives. I think those are going to be the stickers I pick. And it's super simple. And like I said, you can get your, make your own labels too. You can use stickers or Cricut with the vinyl. But I had these and I fell in love with them and I decided to do it. So all I'm really going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm just going to stick them on there. So. It's that simple. And then you just put stuff in there for Halloween and you just lay it out for display purposes. And there are my three super simple easy potion bottles that really take nothing to make. And I think it all came out looking awesome and I can't wait to decorate my house this Halloween with the stuff. Alright y'all, that's it for today's project. I had a blast making these super simple, easy projects. And if you liked it, please, please, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Because it does help my channel to grow and it lets me know you're enjoying these videos. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!